Hiya, I'm Jennifer from Travelers Influences, and today, well, tomorrow I'm going to be making raw plantain with oats porridge and nuts. But tonight, I'm going to soak the oats porridge in water and dates, and then tomorrow I will add the remaining ingredients. <laughs> So here are the ingredients to make the raw plantain and oats porridge. So here's the plantain, you can get that at the West Indian shops or most of the supermarkets sell it. We've got dates, see the dates there. Try not to get the one that's coated, that's very really glossy. Um, here's the porridge, you, I'm sure you can use any type of oats porridge, it should be fine. Um, water different types of seeds, sunflower, flax seeds, chia seeds, you can use sunflower, any types of seeds you want to use, you can put in there. Also, if you don't want to use the individual ones, you can just use the one that's already pre-mixed um, already. Okay, and then of course, last but least, I use cashew, but they have to be raw cashews. Any brand will do, as long as it's raw, okay? So here I've got oats and um, some dates. I'm about to put some water on it because I'm going to soak this overnight because it just uh, makes it more smoother, the texture and everything. If you soak it overnight, it's much better. So I've used about two cups, yeah, two cups of um, oats and four dates. Just remember to be careful when you are using dates that they may have stones in it. So you just feel free. And that's why mine's, are, you can see it kind of like broken let to take the stones out of it. So all I'm going to do now is just add water to cover it. It may seem like a lot, but it's fine because the oats just soak it up. See? And that's it. Just leave it to soak like that. Leave it like that overnight. And then just put the rest of the ingredients in and blend it. So now that we've got um, all the oats and the dates in, just put that into the blender, see? And then we're gonna add all the rest of the bits in. So we're gonna add in the planting, um, already chopped up. And then we're gonna add in a bit of maca powder. Maybe just put a teaspoon of that in. Oh, put a bit more in. So I like that. And then you can add in also the flat seeds. Not too much, just a teaspoon of that, I suppose. And additionally, you can add in some cinnamon powder as well. Just put in a bit. Half a teaspoon. Last but least, I'm going to add in a handful of cashew nuts. Last but least, or last but not least. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. And then, nice. yeah, you can add coconut milk or almond milk if you wish, but this is really good for vegans, okay? So you can add milk, but you don't need it because the water is enough. And there you go, put it on to blend. <laughs> Done. Mm, that looks really lovely. Look at that creamy texture. Yep, looks nice. Absolutely and gorgeous. So here we are. That looks absolutely amazing. I mean, you can always put add um, strawberries, blueberries on top of it if you want to, but you drink it just as it is. Oh, that looks good. Absolutely amazing. So you're gonna drink it and see how it tastes. Mm. Do you want to taste it? No, you can. So I'm gonna get the. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Is that is that mm -mm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And you know something? <laughs> I've had it before and that's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm.